Hi guys, Hannah here and welcome to today's mini Zentangle session. Today is week eight, day five, and the materials we're going to use are a black micron pen, if not a black biro, a black pencil, a tortillon or blending tool, if you haven't got one, an earbud, and a square white piece of card. And this one measures five by five centimeters or two by two inches. If you'd like to get your materials ready, pause the video and settle down nice and comfortably, we can begin. So using my pencil, I'm just going to draw a square box as my, as my border. And then inside my border, again, I'm using my pencil, but those of you that feel confident, please start off with your pen. And I'm just subdividing it down. And you'll notice that this line here is not the same width. So when I go over my, with my pen, I will make it uh, wider. And I'm just turning my tile and I'm repeating it. So I've got a box shaped grid. Um, and the key to this particular tangle is having the lines and the boxes all of about a similar distance apart. So when I go over with my pen, I'm just going to ensure that this one here is a little bit wider so that it's a similar sized square as the others. And for those of you that that have dexterity issues or are a little bit uh, younger, sometimes I actually use the dotty tool stencil to set it up and then I would draw the lines down and then that way I can ensure that each of the lines are going to be equal distance apart. But you don't have to, to do it like that. And then in the centre of each of the squares going across, I'm drawing a square that I'm colouring in black. And you'll notice that I'm not too concerned as to whether it's an exact square because I'm going to have the opportunity to straighten it up in the next step. And this tangle uh, is a, a, little, a little bit complicated in the respect that when you do start, you need to get them all going in the right, in the right way. The easiest way I find it is to start at the bottom and to the left of that square, I draw straight up. And you'll notice that I don't go below that square. And then I'm going to continue repeating going up. So for the first row, this is what we've got. And then moving to the second row, and I'm going to repeat. So we have that now. And then the third row, you've got it and the fourth row. Now this is where it can get a little bit difficult. So the easiest way I've found is just to turn it to the left slightly. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm going to repeat it. But this time I've already got the line showing me where. And you'll notice that I'm starting from that previously drawn line and I'm just going up. And this is where those lines will help to straighten the squares that I drew to start off with. And what you want to do when you're drawing this, I find, is to draw all of the boxes going in the same way. Some people prefer just to do one square all the way around, but I find it far more relaxing and meditative doing it this way. 
and then turning it once again. And we've now got exactly the same. And we're just going to draw up. So this is the third, the third row. And when I say row, I don't mean as in the rows going across. I mean, this is the third side of that square in the centre that we're drawing from. And then finally, we're just going to rotate it last, the last way. And again, we're going to repeat it. So we've now drawn a line around each side of those solid black squares. <clears throat> Please excuse me, I think my voice is still on its last legs. Okay, so that's this tangle that's pretty much finished. Now we've got a couple of options here. <clears throat> excuse me. We can leave it the way that it is or we can decorate. Now, decorating is very easy. I'm just going to do the first the first row and again you'll notice that I'm turning my tile and all I'm doing is putting an extra line down the centre and we end up with something that looks like that. Now Let's skip a row and move on to the third row. If I wanted to, I can actually get two lines. And I can, I can colour those in if I wanted to. And as long as whatever I do in each box around the four sides of that square, as long as I repeat them, then you can just decorate and embellish as much or as little as you want. And this is where you see that this row, the squares aren't wide enough. So I'm just going to finish this bit and then I'm going to show you if you wanted to add some shading where the best place is to, to add. And again, this is one of those um, tangles that looks really complex. But once you get into it and you understand it, it's actually rather easy. Okay, so the way I shade this is for me this line here looks like it's going underneath that one so I would put a little pencil line there and repeat it going down the row this line looks like it's going underneath that one and again I repeat it this line looks like it's going underneath so I'm actually adding a little bit of pencil along each of those four sides. And then using my tortillon, I would probably shade the two that are going horizontal at first, and then I would turn and shade the other two, which are also now going horizontal because I've, I've rotated my tile. And you get something that looks a bit like that. And again, I think it's very, very easy and I think it looks very effective. So here's one I drew earlier where I've just drawn them in squares and I haven't decorated inside. And you'll see it's slightly, slightly larger tile. But what I did do was I started off using it with my dots because then I can get them all right. If you don't mind that they're not 100% right, then that's fine. Here's one I've done, and you'll see that I've decorated it by drawing that one line up. 
And this is the one that reminds me the most of when you see wicker work or, or fabrics that crisscross over each other. Here's one I've drawn that I, I really like. They're actually two centimetres apart instead of one. And here's one I've done again, which is also, they're also two centimetres apart, but I've drawn the lines like I've done here and left the little sparkle in the inside. And then instead of colouring the centre squares in solid, I've just done a crisscross like a hatch shape. And then finally, here's one I've done where I've brought in a, a brown micron pen. And you'll notice that I've decorated one and three and then two and four and then one and three and two and four. But also on these lines here, I've actually drawn a much heavier, a thicker black line. And then in the centre of each square, I've drawn in solid brown. Well, I hope this video has helped you learn the way, the be well, the way I find this tangle easiest to draw. Uh, and I look forward to seeing your uh, results. Please join me for week eight, day six, um, where we're actually going to be tangling some hanging bits and pieces. Take care. Bye for now.